How's it? Paul Ojai here from Arch.co today. Today what we're going to do is we are going to be removing code to signatures for Office 365 from your tenant. So now there's a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. You might want to start again. You might want to sort of like convert from code to to another supplier. Um, whatever it is, this is how you do it. So now on their website, um, Code2 does give you a couple of ways of doing this. How to uninstall the Code2 uh, email signature for Office 365 here. Um, and they give you all these instructions. So what they do is they basically say, go in here. Okay. So they say go in here. And what you'll see is that there's this domain, which was created by Code2 when we signed up and installed the signatures. There's, so this is the remove the Code2 domain. Um, we're going to deregister the tenant, um, which is going to be this part over here. Okay, remove the Code2 data from the Active Directory. So you would go to the Azure Active Directory or your portal. All right, let's just go into that. Um, and it's going to show you all things that are actually inside here. So there's quite a few applications that are actually loaded. Uh, you will see them here. Okay, so we're going to go here to Azure Active Directory. We're then going to go to Enterprise Applications. And what you'll see is all of these ones that start with Code 2, you need to remove them. So you need to click on it, then go to Properties, and you'd push Delete. Okay, so you do that for every single one of these um, enterprise applications. Okay, so it says that here. Okay, app registrations. Okay, and you'll see this add on add in here. So, as I was saying, you've got the enterprise applications here, and um, then you scroll down and you have got these this application over here, which is under app registrations. So if we go to app registrations, we are in here. Okay. So now we need to remove it. Yeah. So to delete it, we just click on delete here. So let's carry on going down. It's saying that if we have anything um, in our desktop apps, we need to uh, delete this cache. And then we need to automatically remove the connectors and transport rule for an Office 365 tenant. So there's automatic removal, and then there's also the manual removal here of the transport rules and the connectors. So you go through admin and mail flow and delete those like that. The most difficult thing actually here is to go through the the other things, the removal of the code to domain, the removal of the enterprise applications, and the removal of the app registrations and obviously your cache files here. So let's firstly do the automatic thing and see what's left over. So we're gonna go back here to our admin panel and say deregister. Are you sure you want to deregister? And we're gonna say yes. Okay, so while that's thinking. Okay, so this is gonna be a wizard that's gonna come up. I'm gonna show you what it's actually gonna do before we push the next on the wizard. Okay, so here we've got the mail flow. So we go into mail flow and you'll see a couple of things. You'll firstly see a rule. There's the rule. And the next thing, it's a see under accepted domains if there's anything here. Yep, there's the accepted domain. And we have got connectors, which are these two connectors. So when we run this wizard, Basically, it's going to delete those and it's going to delete that rule. So it's quite simple and you can do it yourself, but let's see what the automatic does. Okay, so it actually seems like it's going to take us a lot longer to do it with the exciting wizard than it would do, be to actually just push the button. But let's put the credentials in. Okay, so let's push next on the wizard and see how long this takes. So it's going to remove the transport rule, the outbound connector, the inbound connector, and remove us from the admin panel. So the only thing that going here and just pushing delete and then going there and pushing delete twice. Um, okay, so let's see how long this will take. 
See now, if this wizard actually did everything, if it removed all the, the registered apps and the, um, and the enterprise apps, that would make sense to me. But for the fact that it's actually deleting three things where it would be quicker, in my opinion, to click on it and push delete, eh, just seems a bit silly. So maybe don't use this wizard. Brilliant, okay. So let's see how that actually worked. So let's just refresh that. Okay, so there's no connectors there. Let's go to the rules. There's no rules there. And let's see accepted domains. Okay, so it didn't even remove that. So let's carry on removing it properly. So we're going here. We're going to go to this one and we're going to say remove domain. Remove. Close. Perfect. So that's there. Let's go back here. Still there. This might take a bit of time to remove. So we will come back and check that now. So while we're in here, let's go to the app registrations that we looked at earlier. Uh, so let's go start again. Azure, Active Directory, and then type in app. You got two enterprise apps and app registrations. Let's go to app registration first. Okay, let's click on this. Let's click on delete. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, fantastic. That's gone away. And now let's go back to the Azure Active Directory. Let's type an app again. Enterprise applications. Okay. So we are going to remove all the way up to there. All this other stuff we're obviously going to keep because otherwise it's going to break you off 365. So let's do this. You go into properties on the side here and you say delete. Are you sure? Yes. Go into this one, go to properties and say delete. This one, properties, delete. This one, properties, delete. Yep. And the final one, properties, delete. Great, so that's now cleaned up. Depending on what you actually did in your control, uh, your code to control panel, which probably won't allow me back in now because it has been removed, um, you might have to delete some other stuff. So let's go back here to Azure Active Directory. No, sorry, let's go back here. And let's go here to services and add-ins. Now, if you put on the preview for your um, Outlook, for your signature, that will be, it could be here, but we have removed it already, so that should be gone. Okay, okay, cache files for the desktop apps. So, okay, so C drive, users, user, okay. So that's username, and then we're looking for this and see if anything's there. We are then looking for code two, and all the stuff in code two is here. So now let's check this first. If we go to control panel and install a program. So here's has a code to email signature manager. So if you are the admin, I do suggest obviously removing this from your machine. So uninstall change, remove this, let's push OK. See what's left in this local app data folder. Okay, not much stuff. So let's actually just go here and let's say delete. And what you'll see over here is all the stuff that was suggested was under local code two and there were a whole bunch of different folders and that's only if the German version was existing if you're using custom, custom attributes here and things like that. Okay, so that's all gone. And this is then the last instruction how to remove it manually for yourself, um, which I actually suggest because it actually seems much, much faster. And that means that now everything has gone. Let's see if this has disappeared. That has now disappeared. So that means that code two is now removed from your domain completely. So you can either install code two again from scratch or you can move to another signature manager. I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, please put them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks a lot.